Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Webflow with Shopify. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at webflow.com or log in to our existing account. In this video I'm going to show you how you can make this integration work uh, by using third-party application like it's, like, uh, it's automate.io sorry and uh, I will leave the link in the description underneath this video for automate.io. Once we're in here, we want to press on the integrations. Once we're at integrations, this pop-up window will show up and let's so go to the bottom left part and click on see all categories. Once we're in here, we want to start by writing down the first app that we want to integrate. In our case, it's Webflow. Now it's time for uh, time for counterpart. In our case, Shopify. Straight away, we are facing this Shopify and Webflow integration and so on. And automate.eo is providing us with some already pre-made uh, integration that we can choose from. But if we won't be able to find the one that we are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left side underneath the triggers, you want to start with one and only option from Webflow, which is new order. On the opposite side though, you want to go with Shopify. There's uh, tons of options, so feel free to pick the one that you need uh, for your integration. I believe you'll be able to pick just fine. Once we click on the one that we need, I I'm just going with the first one, we click on try it now button and we get redirected to automate.io signup page where we are supposed to log in or register our account at automate.io and we are basically a few clicks away from finishing this integration at zapier.com uh, that's the another app that we can use for integrations once we're in here let's go and create an account once we do that, let's go to the top left corner of our screen and click on create Zap. Once we're in there, we want to start with setting a trigger. As I said, it's uh, basically the same way like it worked at Automate. So we want to start with the first trigger app and that's web Webflow. We have to set up a trigger event. Now we have three options. So let's stick with the first one. We hit continue. Now we connect our account with Zapier, set up a trigger, that's your uh, name of the site. And the value. Uh, when you finish your website, the value will be available for you. I'm, I haven't finished mine, so I don't have the value yet. So we can jump straight. No, well, after that, you just press continue and the test the trigger we can jump straight to second action which as you probably thought it's shopify action event well as you can see couple to pick from continue and the last thing is also log into your existing account so that's about it thanks for watching and see you on the next video